some are wrapping up pretty quickly here in Long Island. And I got some stuff changing out here. I figured I'd give you guys an update. I got my cherry right here. It's a sweet cherry. It's well overhead at this point. Well, probably eight feet tall or so. I'm pretty confident this will last the winter. And hopefully it'll grow a lot next year. We got the lemonade blueberry. A little bit of growth. Not much this year though really. It's been kind of a slow to stabilize, slow to grow bush. The other blueberries have uh, been much happier. <clears throat> got a nice butter I mean uh, butterfly bush. It's a button bush. It's a good substitute for a butterfly bush and it's native to the area. This actually supports the pollinators as opposed to just giving them super sweet nectar that they can't multiply with. Um, got some cone flowers doing okay and some sedum looks pretty. I'm liking that. Uh, got my pomegranate here doing pretty great even though it's uh, more of a warm weather plant. It really did well. I'm uh, kind of happy with it and I think it'll make it through the winter. I'm uh, pretty confident with how much this thing's grown and filled out and how much that main trunk has thickened that this root is probably pretty deep and I think this is going to make it just fine. It's close to the house, so you know, a little bit of a windbreak for it. I think it'll be okay. I hope so. Got uh, my aster getting ready to bloom. This is native. Steer is getting out of control again. Wildflowers are dying down, but I have a feeling there's a second bloom coming for fall because I have all sorts of stuff planted here. Same thing over here. Blooms are kind of dying, but there should be some other stuff coming soon. Cosmos, things of that nature. Rolling butterflies have been consistent all, all summer. Really love these. Got some blooming mint, goldenrod, butterfly bush, some herbs. but they just don't seem to be loving life. A ton of rain this week, so hopefully that helps them out. My blackberries spreading like crazy. I gotta have to cut this back. Get something to let this grow up. Here I got my other peach. This is a, this is a reliant peach, I think. It's pretty good. Lots of growth. These are they seem to be really happy, both peaches, this one and the one over there. Can't remember what kind of peach that is, but got that in the ground about a month earlier and you could see, you know, quite a difference to that to this. And they were about the same size when they were planted. Got my uh, main annual bed over here. Some peppers maturing pretty quickly. Probably my last run of peppers with how things are getting chilly. Got some chard coming up pretty good. My lettuce is bolting. I'm letting it so I can collect some seeds. Pretty good lettuce. Uh, my cucumbers, although they've slowed down, they are still producing quite a lot of cucumbers. Just not as rapidly. I'm not getting like 10 or 12 in the morning. I'm getting like three or four. And they're, they're not getting fat, you know, in one day. They were going from like this size to full size in a day before. Now they're taking a little longer. There's still a ton. Oh, 
probably still looking pretty good, these two are, at least. Jeez, this fruit fly is crazy. That's why they have honed in on it. Nice. Little group of raspberries. Learn when to harvest them. Of course, they gotta get these. The raspberry bush. Pretty great. These are kind of loving life. I haven't really done anything to these things all, all season. They just keep growing. They've been steady producing since it got warm and have not stopped. Every single day I get more. Got my chives flowering. I'm just gonna leave them as a perennial. I'm gonna loosen the soil and spread a little bit. Maybe I'll start transplanting them and multiplying them. Another blueberry. Probably starting to do some new growth here. Got a northern bayberry. It's a nice native. Bush. Got a nine bark. <clears throat> Got on sale. It was looking pretty shabby, but she saw me looking at it and said, I'll give it to you for 10 bucks. And I said, sold. It's another nice alternative to a butterfly bush, which is what was here previously. Oh, more blackberries again. Super vigorous. But uh, not a lot of production. Still first year, but still. I expected something this big to give me more berries. It's been pretty limited. Labella and my other cherry tree. That's a bada bing. The other one, it's another kind of sweet cherry. I can't remember the name though. I planted some annuals around here. These in case not honey. I've got some cabbage coming up. Some cabbage over there by the blackberry also. disclosure my current is rapidly dying it is only look worse and worse every single day water no water fertilizer no fertilizer it just doesn't like it the uh, spice bushes are also dying pretty quickly this one is the best one so far there's one over here that I blew past because it's totally gone I'll zoom in so you can see the stick but that was a spice bush it took a couple weeks to die I don't think I gave it enough time to acclimate before I planted it. The Jostine is doing nice, which is a current gooseberry cross. It's supposed to be like an Americanized version, and I guess it's doing better because it's in America, and it's an Americanized version. But that's an assumption. So, hazelnuts are looking pretty good though, which I'm very happy about. They're threatened, or at least they were. See those little trench up front that really looks like it sprouted, but there's spinach up there. There's another northern bayberry. Pretty happy. This is the other spice bush. Again, really not happy. Some weeds and stuff I gotta pull in here. These are all radishes. This row here. Pretty excited. This is my first time growing radishes. Some comfrey. And another raspberry. Again, super, super happy. In Maine. Please love my raspberries. I think they're enough. Big disappointment was the straight edge cucumbers that used to be here. Totally gone because they were taken over by blight. I decided to cut my losses and just take them out. So I planted a row of carrots here. Slowly coming up. And I planted some beans back there. Cat's yeah, still killing it. Watermelon's doing pretty great. Um, I got a full-size melon and a blacktail. Super sweet, sugary. Hands are covered in sugar. It's delicious. Can't wait for the rest of them. I got some broccoli planted here. Started doing that out a little bit. And uh, right as soon as I plucked that big melon, I had these two bad boys get get big. So. I got two more down here coming in. I gotta trace these out to see which variety they are, but this is another Blacktail Mountain. This is a sugar baby. I've yet to try one of those. And uh, 
I'm pretty excited. These are my favorites. The watermelons are always the best for me. Should we figure it out? I'll we'll figure it out later and I'll let you guys know. like that you know I'm into planting annuals in the berm here with the perennials uh, I didn't stop and see it because I don't know if it sprouted yet or if I could see it but there's some dill and uh, other things I got some lovage planted in here I think I'm gonna try some spice bushes from seeds northern spice bushes because you know seeds definitely if they sprout in the soil will grow better in the soil than a transplant <clears throat> And I do like the spice bush, so we're gonna give it another try, I think. And uh, feel free to make recommendations or tell me I suck at this. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.